<coughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, it's like raining outside, so I decided to do another video. Um, there's been several people that you know I've been hearing is passed away in this past week, you know, overdosing from addiction and stuff, and uh, and it's quite terrible. It really is. And, you know, there was one girl that you know worked for me, you know, worked with me at you know the treatment center. I'm a therapist up there. And she passed away, and you know, it's it's horrible. Um, when you, if you know somebody that you know has been having having issues with addiction, and you know they're having trouble and stuff like that, don't be afraid to reach out to them. Um, help them, guide them, guide them on the right path. You know, people, <coughs> excuse me, people can be going through some trial times, trial times and stuff like that. You know, people can have depression, anxiety. You know, even thoughts of relapsing, you know, be there for them. You know, anybody needs support group. Anybody needs support to get them on the right way. You know what I mean? Like, you know, there's some people who don't have anybody and they just need, need a support group. Something that's motivational. You know, I teach, I teach my clients, you know, and in my experience, support groups are important to motivate, to guide in the right way. <clears throat> also, you know, be somebody's contact. Like, be some, give somebody your phone number, so they can talk to you. Just, you know, anything can help to guide them on the right way. Because, you know, I hate seeing overdoses. You know what I mean? I hate seeing deaths. You know, I've had so many friends that died from overdoses and stuff, and it's absolutely terrible. It really is. It makes you think a little bit. You know what I mean? And this is why I'm in this field is to help people. You know. Because the thing is, this could be somebody's mother, brother, sister, whatever. You know what I mean? And anything can change their lives. And I've seen that. I've seen people change. You know, see people change. I see people, you know, do so much better. You know what I mean? Just become people that you wouldn't even recognize because they were going through so much chaos. To become people that are, you know, focused, amazing, and want to help, help other people. It's called the halo effect. <coughs> We just need something that works. You know what I mean? We need to shut down these overseas Chinese fentanyl places, underground drug dealer places overseas. You know, that's where the United States needs to work in to shut these things down. You know what I mean? China, the China, it's not, they're not doing a good job doing it. You know what I mean? We need to work with, the United States needs to work with China to shut these places down. You know, drugs have come over the place, but this is where I've been hearing. These fentanyl places overseas, they're sending those places stuff over here, and they're getting these, these dealers, and they're coming to West Virginia, which is like number one overdose rate, has number one overdose rate in the United States, and they're they're giving these get, bring this crap here, you know what I mean? And people are suffering and everything, so we need to figure out what's what can work, you know what I mean? Just what can we do to to cut off these drugs? coming into West Virginia area or the United States area you know what I mean because people are suffering you know what I mean people are trying to recover and it's, these drugs coming here it's making it a lot more harder for people to recover and stuff so you know I hope hope you guys like this video and you just see it's something on my mind pretty much and you know I hope you guys subscribe and peace